Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stoneblock 3. Now in today's episode, it's going to be a little bit interesting. Firstly, I want to set up a brand new uh, drawer system here, which is connected to our grinder. But before I can do that, well, I can set up the drawers, but before I can connect everything together and finish it all up, I actually need to go all the way up here through this, all the way up to the nether area, and I actually need to, yeah, go inside this thing, because I am relying on ender chests. So I need to get blaze rod, I don't know if it's possible to get obsidian in there as well, but we need both of those things. And while all that is happening, I am really hoping to spawn a chicken in here. Yep, out of all things, I need a chicken. I need a chicken in order to get a smart chicken, which is why I have a book, because in the next episode I want to get into the chicken mod, which should hopefully be very useful. But before I can do that, I need a chicken, and I only have 8 eggs to my name, and I'm scared to use them <laughs> to try and get a chicken. So I'm gonna try this way first. And, and I, yeah, I really hope I get a chicken in here. But anyways, before we get started with the drawer system, I have expanded the base a little bit to hold the drawer system. But first, I want to make a wireless crafting controller, which should make us able to access this setup right here wirelessly, I hope. Uh, so I have everything I need in order to get a crafting monitor. And then just like this wireless crafting monitor, and this should get recharged using our brand new player, uh, player transmitter right here. And I should be able to network not found, so I guess I need to shift right click this and then there's no wireless transmitter interrupt tra transmitter aha uh, uh -huh. uh, this should be yep this is very much doable I, I hope <laughs> I really hope I might not have enough quartz for this maybe I do nope I don't I do now though Wireless transmitter, I think I need to then place this, uh, uh, eh. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think I can put it down here, at least I don't think so. Maybe I can. Wireless crafting monitor. Uh, yeah, I assume, I assume it has to actually be up there onto this thing. There we go. Uh, 16 blocks, yep, that, why is this, huh, interesting, so I've made the wireless grid instead of the wireless crafting monitor, and that works, I can access everything, however, I'm not able to craft anything with it, which I thought I could with this, don't know why I can't, maybe I am not doing something right, but it's fine, A at least I now have access to this entire inventory, I think, in a 16 block radius, ooh, Loot B has spawned. Loot B has spawned. These are actually starting to become pretty valuable for me because, well, I, I could get X from them. And, well, like I just said, I want X. So I want to free this guy and let him generate a bunch of loot. Where's he? There he is. I think he's taking a liking to my creator. Oh, may maybe not. Maybe not. He likes that bush, though. Oh, energy card. I mean, I'll take it. An, an item card? Osmium? Oh boy, chance cube. And an egg. That, that's, prim that's the primary thing I want. Another Osmium ingot, and I think he should despawn in a moment. Another egg. And there we go. He's off, and I get a trident. Alright, let's put all of that away. And let's get to it. First thing first that I want to make is going to be a storage controller. And for that, I'm going to need a few drawers here. I think I can hold down Alt and there we go. Uh, birch drawer. Yep, that should be it. Storage drawer. Boom. And this is basically what is going to connect to all of our storage uh, drawers or rather what all of our drawers are going to be connected to. And this thing, I'm pretty sure, is what will also be connected to this and also the grinder. Now I just need to make a bunch of drawers to put in here, but not only that, I also need a configuration tool, which for that I'm going to need another drawer, just like so. And configuration tool, there we go, because this is going to be used to connect the drawers. Well, actually, no, for that we need a 
I think I can just go like this. Yep, linking tool, that's what we need to link the drawers to this thing. And then the configuration tool we can use to lock the drawers that will come in handy later. Now I think it would be pretty boring to have birch floors and walls, uh, sorry, birch floors and ceilings, and then also have a wall of birch drawers. So instead, I think I've got to go with oak. So I'm going to have to grow a, a few oak saplings if they want to grow. There we go. So I'm just going to do this for a little bit and I'll be back when I have a ton of drawers. Oh, spawned inside one. <laughs> All right, so I have made 18 or sorry, 16 drawers and I am now going to clear out a uh, four by four area here in the wall. 60 drawers is definitely not enough for what I want to do, but it should be enough for right now. So, oh, this thing has run out as well. This is something that we'll be doing as well. If everything goes according to my plan, I wonder if I can pick this up and move it. Does power have a wrench? Yes, yes. So I assume I can just hold down shift, link, rotate, config, link, rotate, config. If I break it, is it gonna lose all the power? I really hope not. I really, really hope not. Nope, it didn't. Okay, good. But yeah, like I was saying, hopefully today we are also going to solve our power problem. But we shall have to see. There we go. All of those oak drawers. Now I'm pretty sure if we go ahead and take our linking tool, uh, swap action to remove, swap action to add. So I'm pretty sure if I go ahead and okay, right click. Okay, so I right click on this and then I say add this, all these drawers to that controller. And so that means if I put in, let's say some cobblestone bricks here, I should be able to right click this thing and it adds them there. And then of course I can't extract, extract them just like that, but hopefully we'll be able to extract them using some refined storage cables into this crafting grid, which is exactly what I want to try next. So I believe we will be needing an importer which I should have everything for, except that I didn't take it out of the furnace. Turns out I did, but I used it all. So we're gonna do that and pop this back into action. Oh boy. And that's enough of you. That's my solution, by the way, to turning off and on this machine. I'm sure there's a lever or something I could make, but for now, that works. All right, that should be that. So we should now be able to make an importer an external storage. And then I already have a bunch of cables, so I'm not gonna waste any more on that. So let's grab these. So I'm pretty sure I may need to remove this for the time being, which is gonna add that to there. So external storage would be this, because this is an external storage via this thing. And then an importer right here, because we're importing what is here to there. I think that's how it works. I might be wrong, but we are now going to connect this up. And so let's say I have all of this here. I'm going to take it all out and I add it to this like so. And there we go. We can access what is in here. Now, the cool thing is if I take this configuration tool, I think I can swap mode, hide show amounts, hide show item renders, hide show upgrade renders. Swap mode to lock it. So if I right click this now, it is locked. So even if I go ahead and take everything out, it will still have a spot in there. So question is, if I put it in there, it does not have priority to go back here, which is interesting. However, as soon as I take all of it out, if I just have a single one in there, I think no. So I need to somehow tell this that this needs to go here. I think I fixed it. If I right click this external storage and click into priority, I just set it to 100. Basically, it's just something really high. And then everything goes into here, even if it's at zero, because this is telling it, hey, anything that you put into here, this should have high priority. Now, if I go ahead and lock every single one of these, it should mean that only the stuff that we have actually put in here should be put in there. So if I go ahead and add that, and then I also go ahead and add my wrench, it shouldn't add wrenches or things like that anywhere else. Only things that we have actually went ahead and said, hey, this has a home here. I'm going to take all of this stone 
and boom, that has a home here, add that here now. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. But yeah, that is basically how we're going to set this up. Obviously, it's not going to hold uh, stone and all that stuff. We're going to be using it to hold stuff like ingots, or stuff like that. I put my configuration tool in, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, all part of the plan. So I'm gonna remove you and remove you, lock you back up. Now I'm gonna place this not actually like out here in the middle of the floor. That would be kind of not cool looking. Instead, I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna ooh, take my air hammer and then I'm gonna make some space back here. And there we go. Instead of having everything out there, we're gonna have it in here. And yep, that definitely is not why I'm placing that there. Definitely no cable running behind that. I don't know what you're talking about. I just think it 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 has some color to the place. It makes this place look nice. So just stop stop judging me. Anyways, this is pretty much as far as we can come without me getting some obsidian and getting some blaze rods because I want to make these ender drawers and also ender chests because these ender chests can basically get linked, and so I can basically tell everything that goes through this go into there and coal and whatnot. I can, like I showed before with setting the priority high, I can set in here. So that is what we need to do next. And as you can see through the ender chest recipe, I need blaze rod. I think I can manage wool because I have access to string. And yeah, it's just the blaze rod and the obsidian. And again, if I had the chicken spot set and ready to go, I could just use that. But like I said, I need chickens for that, and I'm scared of using my eggs, so we're doing it the hard way. Now, before we go ahead and start our assault over at the nether uh, the dungeon over here, but I, I also think I want to take a quick pit stop over here. But either way, I want to get as much food as I possibly can, because these glowberries are not gonna cut it. Okay, a loot bee has just spawned down there. I'm pretty sure if it dies, or when it dies, I should say, the items is going to... Actually, I think the the spot. Hmm, I'm gonna dig down to it. I'm gonna dig down to it <laughs> because I'm pretty sure when it dies, the items are just gonna sit there. Yep, it just generates a hole. We don't want that. All right, think I got everything. Let's go. Honestly, I should set up a mana uh, or mana. No, mana receiver up here so I can just teleport into the dungeons. You know what? That might not be a bad idea actually. I may do that before heading over to the nether area. But here we are. I'm just gonna run in, place a bunch of these, and I'm gonna hope for the best. Run in, place one here, run in, place one here as well. That's bonus, place one over there, don't blow up. How dare you blow up my lantern? Okay, that's bad. That's a problem, that's a bit of a problem. And I'm pretty sure there's a spawner over here somewhere. I'm just not sure where, hello. You're a special spider. Two special spiders. Oh dear. That's bad. That's that's bad. Where are you? That okay. Yep, that's definitely a spawner. They just spawned right there. They just spawned right there. They just spawned right there. Yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That's those are those are those are things. Those are things. Those are the vexes, whatever they're called. Uh yeah. Ma matter thing? Yep, definitely needed. Definitely not an excuse to get out of there. You know what? I think we are just gonna stick to going to the nether area. Down once, and let's go. All right, I should be right at the entrance. Oh, wow. Literally right at the entrance. Okay, ooh, and magma blocks. Those are huge for us because we, ooh, because, whoa, hello. Because we could actually turn that into obsidian extremely easy. So that's very good. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Secure that. Slowly getting this place safe. Yep, because... Oh. Was that was that only 12 or was that a stack? That must have been only 12. Okay, yeah, I just want a bunch of this because I can use this. I can wash it, bulk wash it, and we can get obsidian, which is super, super useful for us. Oh, the spawners do that? Okay, can I... Can I possibly get rid of this? Whoa, I can't move, I can't move, I can't move, I can't move, I can't move. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
uh, wither. Let's not do it. Down to two hearts. Eat, 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 eat. Get regeneration. Whew. Oh, it's a it's an elite with a skeleton. That makes sense. Makes very much sense. Please go away, if possible. That would be nice. Now, if I could get the spawner, that would be amazing. Please don't spawn another. That would be very kind of you not to do. Okay, good. And give me this. Alright, nice. I just gotta be aware that things could spawn. Is it okay? I got stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't... How am I gonna be able to fit all of this? I don't have... I should have upgraded my backpack, huh? Um, okay, I need to... I need to sort what I take, but wow. This is, um... Okay, it's obviously not everything that I need. But I definitely want a bunch of this. Ooh, uncovered loot crate. I've got to open this. Oh, no, not a brick. Okay, I think that can stay behind. I mean, so far, I'd say we are having better success with this than with the previous dungeon that we went into. Golden apple. I might use... I might need that now. <laughs> that might be something we need now. Uh, can I get rid of this by any chance right now without anything killing me? Oh, there's a wood skeleton over there. Oh, there's an old skeleton. Please let me break this. Yep. Okay. Good. You see me? Uh, I should block this off. You know what? I'm gonna do it with soul soil. I just realized I didn't block it off to the skeleton. Okay. <laughs> Before we do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and place this metal receiver right here in the center. Right there. I'm gonna name it, uh, Nether Dungeon. There we go. That way we should be able to always be able to come back here very, very easily. Mushroom rice. Now that's food. I'm not gonna eat it right now, but that's very, very cool food. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move forward kind of like this. Very slowly. These guys will be able to get it, get in here, but that's not a problem because they're easily defeated. And they don't hurt nearly as much as everything else. That is something that's gonna hurt though. What we got in here? I mean, honestly, diamonds, not really bothered. Diamond shovel is cool. I think this would be cool. Pixel? What, 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 what? Not me, right? Not me. Not me. I think we're good. Gonna go ahead and place another lantern over there. Whoa, you're fast. Okay, you, you actually scared me. Whoa. Okay, you actually jump scared me. Are you kidding me? Yikes. Okay, what do we have here? Dispenser. You know what? I don't care. I don't care about dispensers, honestly. I just want only important stuff. Okay, let's get rid of you. Because you are very scary. And I don't like you. There we go. Alright, what do we got in here? We got some obsidian. A lodestone. Uh, I'll take the arrow. Husk. Husk spawn egg. Huh, that could become useful, I suppose. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm honestly gonna leave stuff behind, like the redstone coal and such, and prioritize like, stuff like food, crying obsidian, I think, as well. String, I'll... T actually, nope. String's not that important. You apparently can't navigate, so that's good for me. But, oh, I could've... Okay. Okay. I could've so easily fallen there. Um, well, that's good to know. Please go away. I really want to kill this blaze. Because what I'm really here for <laughs> are the blaze rods. Which is what I need to focus on next. Alright, is it possible for me to maybe... Uh, not with you there. Go away. Please let me destroy this skeleton spawner. And boom. Okay, very good. Uh... Nine golden apples. I'll say, ooh, another ward. Another ward is huge. Uh, saddle, saddle, saddle. Don't know why I would need a saddle or want a saddle, but I'll take it. This seems a bit risky. Zombified piglin. Oh boy. I don't think I can break that, actually, you know? Well, I'll definitely 
kill the blaze. Just don't hit any of the pigmen. And there we go. Chest. Obsidian. Yep, I'll take it. Yeah, considering this is the nether dungeon. Or nether themed dungeon. I'm finding this quite easy, honestly. <laughs> Compared to the previous ones we have had. Or ones. The previous one we have had. Which uh, have been quite difficult, I'm not gonna lie. But this is fairly easy. At least this branch of it. Huh, what do we got here? Mark of the Sea, Loyalty. Slimy Seeds, okay. Got more chests in here. Obsidian, definitely gotta take that. Efficiency 5, Unbreaking. <laughs> uh, is there anything that I don't really need? I get uh, arrows would be kinda cool. Fire charges, probably don't need it. Don't want to, really don't want the stick, to be honest. <laughs> Grinding obsidian, yep, don't need that. Lodestone, I'll take it. Okay, so what is this room? This room is definitely filled with lava. Definitely. Um, not too much doubt about that. I really need blazes. I haven't come across many blazes through this, which is a bit unfortunate. I only have two blaze rods so far, which... That, that's not enough. <laughs> oh, I got an enchanted golden apple. Okay, that's good. And through here we get... Ooh, more blazes. Okay, uh, place you retreat for a little bit. All right, let's go in. Oh, there's a ladder in here. Okay, what does this lead to? Chess. Right, well... Really wanna... Oh, you're a problem, you're a problem, you're a pro problem. You're a very big problem, actually. Uh, run. Run, 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 run. Haha! <sighs> Can't survive the lava now, can ya? Oh, that's good to know. There's a trash bin. Has that always been there? I don't feel like that has always been there. Alright, back to these guys. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Aha! It's a blaze spawner. That I'm not gonna destroy. However, killing these guys might prove a bit of a difficult task. There we go, three rods. I know I'll definitely be wanting to make two ender chests, and then I also want some ender drawers, which for that I need an ender chest, and I have ender, which I need blaze power for, so I at least need ten or so. Well, now they're just coming to where I am. That's kind of neat. But only kind of... Ooh, blaze head. I need blaze head. I need that blaze head. I need the blaze head. Blaze head. Oh, no. That's not... Give me... Stop giving me stuff I don't need. Nah. I don't know what that sound is on this other side. I have no idea what that sound is. Oh, wow, there's a lot of blazes here. Oh, this is good. This is good for me. Like I said, need ten rods. Oh, wow, that's a lot of them, though. Gonna go ahead and place some more lanterns here and there. Not too but Oh, another enchanted golden apple. Ugh. I just found five blaze rods in that chest. So now I have 13. So if I kill these blazes, I should have... Ooh, what's that? Clay loot crate. I'm gonna take a look at that in a moment. Gonna kill this final blaze. And I think that that is gonna do it. Let's go home. Okay, all things considered, though, that was easier than this dungeon. <laughs> Which, you know what? I will not complain. We got a lot of stuff. Apple cider. Okay, crystal catalyst, blazing crystal. We got these fireworks. Which are kind of cool. Uh, crying obsidian, which can be useful, allows the users to travel quickly through portals. Don't really need that, since we don't use portals. I have this clay... Loot chest. Don't know what it is. Oh. Oh, it, li it literally just gives clay. Uh, clay. Okay. Uh, got it. We did get this. Some lodestones. Yeah, overall, not a bad haul whatsoever. Multi-torch. Wait, what's a multi-torch? What's a multi-torch? Torch? Torch? I can just convert it into normal torches. Okay, I like that. 14 blocks of gold. Just casually like that. Oh, we've run out. Have we run out of power? Wow. Um, okay. That's fine. Wait, we have plenty of coal. 
which I'm going to be linking up as the next thing. But for now, eh, there we go. Speaking of which, also we got two blaze heads by the way, which means we can now get blazing blood, which means I can now smelt down diamond. Really good. Uh, okay, so let's get all the, nope, mac, ma, because if I take this and put it together with the washing thing here, if I go ahead and break this, place this, we're now washing it, which means we should get a bunch of obsidian soon. And there we go. A stack and 32 obsidian. This should be plenty. So let's go ahead. Uh, I need some wool though. Wool. Do I have enough string to make wool is the question. Yes, just about. So I need to make two of these ender chests right here. I need to make a chest though. There we go. Two ender chests and I will show you how these work in just a moment. However, I also want to need or want to need. No, I also need... <laughs> To go ahead and make some normal ender chests here for this the ender drawer, which is going to become very very important So if I go and make four of those and then make as many of these as I can Which is gonna be four and then make these I just need some sort of drawer All right drawers made and we should now be able to make one and two ender drawers, which is all that we will need for now, I'm going to save these blaze rods. So, these ender chests. If I place one here and I place one here, as you can see, they have these white walls up here at the top. They are basically color codes. I could go ahead and dye both of these blue. And then what would essentially happen, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that. If I take some lapis, clear this, and make this blue dye and also blue dye. And then I also need some white dye. There we go. If I go ahead and right now open these and I put these uh, two sterling dynamos in there, put the sticks away for now, they're in there currently. And as you can see, both of them open at the same time. That is because these two now share the same inventory. However, if I go ahead and color code this one to blue, 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 it could also, by the way, be blue, red, yellow, etc. You have basically endless combinations at this point. Now this one doesn't open and the two sterling dynamos are gone because they're only on the white, white, white. Uh, network if you will so that is really cool and that is what we are going to be using for the grind over there now if I break this what is actually gonna happen do I need some touch with this no okay good it's not like normal ender chests so if I go ahead and place an ender chest right here and I go ahead and add some piping right here with my pipe wrench don't need to color codes anymore and I go ahead and add this here I'm gonna go ahead and disable that I'm gonna extract from this Right. If I then go ahead, actually, before we do that, I also appear to be needing some food, but that's fine. I want one of each of these items right here. So that's osmium, lead, tin, and iron. And if we then go back here, I now want to go ahead and put these items in this uh, system right here. However, I do want to add another row just for the sink. <laughs> I like things symmetrical, okay? Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna remove this actually. And I'm gonna go ahead and place an ender drawer right there. And I will be needing my configuration tool again. We gotta lock these, of course. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna add coal to, I may need to unlock it. Yep, there we go. And now lock it. I'm gonna place a coal in this ender drawer right here. And if I go ahead and get my linking tool, well, which I have two of them, I'm going to go ahead and this, I think, is still connected to this. So all I need to do is connect you, 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 and then the final one in the corner up there. Boom, just like so. Now, if I go ahead and place the end drawer, say here, and I'm pretty sure all I need to do is if I get some more coal, I'm pretty sure they will connect. If I place coal in there, they don't connect. I may need to go ahead... Actually, it's a zero there now. It should say the same number on both of them. Okay, I think what I need to do, I need to hold down shift, then punch it, and then I need to punch this one. No, I need to... There we go. Okay, no, reset. Hold down shift, right click to reset. Punch, right click, and I'm pretty sure if I go ahead and get some more coal, which I... Uh, don't have so we'll use something else as an example <laughs> lapis 
yes, they now share the same frequency, meaning whenever coal now goes through there, once we set that up, it's going to be added right there. And then it's going to go right here automatically into our Sterling dynamos. So that is the final thing that we need to set up. I'm going to add these right here. I'm going to add some item pipes. I'm going to remove this torch and place it over there. Place it like so. Get my wrench. Set this to output so it takes the items out. And I have some raw tin here. Did I place? I did not place. Okay, I'll place that there then. But now all I think we need to do. Oh no, I'll need to. <laughs> I'll need to empty this. Um, so if I go ahead and empty everything here and place it in here, it should. Yep, it's been taken out. And we will see it being added to this right here. Would you look at that? Do I have any other food than. No, I don't think I have any other food than. Uh, I, I'm, get, I'm getting tired of glow berries essentially, and um, uh, currently I'm trying to transition over to wheat, but my wheat farm is not that amazing at this point in time. Alright, I think I'm just gonna have to do something else here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna get some stone chests, cobblestone chests. I'm gonna place them here. And yes, this will be indeed very, very, very painful. Oh, that's not really what I wanted to do. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to place this here and then I'm going to have to break this. Uh, oh boy, yeah, that is a painful, very, very painful. Add all this to here. Add some more. <laughs> Transitioning mid-session here. Uh, get all that. Do that and then quickly get this placed like so. And now everything that goes in here is going to go in here and it's going to get sorted. And I think for the time being, just because I can't be bothered to do it manually, we got to go and do this, add this, got to set it to export essentially. And that should all go into that ender chest and then eventually get sorted. Now the only thing that I haven't done yet is actually adding the coal which the coal should be going through ever so slowly. If I just go ahead and take the coal, because currently it doesn't have a destination. So if I go ahead and get my configuration tool, unlock this, place coal, and go ahead and lock it. They're gonna get extracted, but it is going to remain as coal. So now when coal gets put into the system, if I just go ahead and add or take all this, just to give it a head start, it's now going to go in here and it is now over here being dragged out into the sterling dynamos generating us power ah, this was a bit of a process and as you can see here things are slowly making their way into the drawers where they belong now what this also means is that i will be able to take uh i don't know if i can take them with the content inside of them if i go ahead and lock these um, I can. Aha. If I just take them from the side here, like so, I can go ahead and add these to the wall, grab my linking tool, which is not for some reason linked to this. There we go. I can add these. Actually, I do not want to. I, I want to remove. How do I? How do I swap to single? I don't know how to. Okay, that's fine. I want to add these there <laughs> because that means all of the cobblestone that we have there is now going to be added to this right here. And a good tip for when doing this, be sure to lock them right as you add them to the wall so that you have control. And look at this, sterling dynamos all the way full and we will have a steady supply of coal building up. That is very cool. Guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. In between episodes, I'm going to try and probably make some more drawers, fill it out, because what's also really cool is, I just want to show this really, really quickly. Let's take our gold ingots, for example. Let's quickly empty out something that is... Okay, none of this is easy to empty out. Let's remove the dirt completely. Uh, we need the configuration tool and get rid of the sticks. If I add the gold there, 
it actually adds the blocks and the nuggets as well. So that's really cool. That might be something we want to do. I'm not sure. I'll think of that in between episodes. But yeah, in the next episode, speaking of which, I am not quite sure what to do. We are either going to get into chickens or setting up a hostile mob farm. One of the two. I really want to get into chickens. However, I only have 13 eggs. I'm going to, like I said, do some more off-camera work, see if a chicken spawns. I might try and sacrifice some of the eggs here. Or maybe we have... Or not, that's, that's not it. Or maybe we have enough to craft... Where is it? There we go. Actually, it says it right here. We can make 12 of the chickens. We have 13 eggs, 12 chickens. And these 12 chickens are what we need to make the rest of the chickens. Okay, that is decided then. In the next episode, we're getting into the chicken spot. I'm very excited for it. But guys, like I said, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And look at that, the coal is already at 300. Can we get a 301? 301? Anyone? 301? No, oh, 301. There we go. You have to subscribe now. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and until next time, bye bye.